population growth rate now, the current? Our population growth rate now is 2.5. Uh, the target, our target, it's uh, 1.5 by the year 2020, but we've been at 2.5 for the past 30 years. We've been around 2.5, around 30 years. Yes, yes. So the country is very productive. It, it, it's not. The target is 1.5. 1.5. 1.5. The growth rate for optimal development is supposed to be 1.5. In fact, globally, the global growth rate is 1.5. Yes, and we are 2.5, so we are a very youthful population, and that accounts for uh, a lot of our expenditure. China, China is not encouraging, you know, they, they used to have one child policy. Yes. Now they're encouraging two. Yes. Does it mean that they have a lower growth rate, and they are encouraging uh, people to give birth at least two per couple so they can have a higher growth rate? Yes, Mr. Chair. For population, the most important is the population structure. And when we talk about the population structure, we talk about the dependent group. The dependent group is 0 to 15 and then 65 and above. So 0 to 15 depends on the 15 to 64. So there should be a fine structure. And our structure, it would uh, scare you, the last data we have from the Ghana Malaria Indicator Survey puts the under 15 at 41 percent, which is very big, which is huge for development. China is having the under 15 is less than 20 percent. So then you need to have the structure well, because you know the dependent group 0 to 15 will transition into the, adult, uh, into the adult population. So the structure of the population is very important. Not so much as the numbers, but the structure. That would inform the quality of life. But for 41, per our last count, by 2016, the Ghana Malaria Indicator Survey, I think it's big, and we really need to work at it. When we ask, what is the population of your country? We mentioned different, different figures. Yeah. What is the current? The, the, the Ghana Statistical Services puts us at 27 million, and and annual increase is 700,000. That is modest, 700,000. If you look at the growth rate of 2.5, annual yes, annual increase is about uh, 700, 700 to 800,000. That is what, which is quite alarming. So um, at the time of the audit, um, it was realized that you didn't have an assets register. I want to ask if you have one now. And also, how do you detect theft? Yeah, we do have an asset register now, which is uh, being updated. In fact, we have it in the regions as well. You know, we have regional presence, so we have that. And for theft, we have uh, uh, the internal audit. We have the internal auditor who helps us. And we're also in the process of putting together our audit um, implementation uh, committee. We have the, the members from Internal Audit Chartered Institute of Accounts. And we have two members from our end. We haven't started work yet, but we are putting that together. The internal auditor helps us a lot to uh, be on track. So do you play in the census exercise, please? Ghana Statistical Service does the census, and the National Population Council is supposed to make meaning out of the census data. That is why Ghana Statistical Service will tell us in the 2010 census that our under-15 population is 38.2, and will also tell us in the Malaria Indicator uh, Survey that our under-15 is 41%. Then Ghana National Population Council makes meaning out of it, and. I mean, comes out with uh, policies and implementing strategies to make sure that our structure is, is optimal for optimal economic development. There was an amount of 23,100 that was not accounted for. It was supposed to be impressed. May I know why it was not accounted for and if it has not been accounted for? As at the audit, some of the regions, I think two or three of them, has actually brought their returns. Unfortunately, during the audit period, when the audit team couldn't get access to the information that was received at that time. So the other 
heat um, regions that were captured at that time were, uh, were what do you call, didn't bring their returns on the time that they were doing the audit, but they brought it after the audit has taken place. And for now, we have received five expenditure returns from the five regions that we mentioned. The other three regions, which has also submitted something, but not in the form of expenditure returns, they had an issue. And if you look at uh, our response, the second sheet, which has been updated, if you have it, with a, we will look at it and see the results of what has happened. And we realize that Eastern region, for is, example. Is it this one? Yes, please. OK. Is it region, for example, as at January 2017, has not spent that 2,800. So you see the breakdown of the 23,100 over a year. They had 2,800 each, with the exception of uh, Brown who had 3,500. So the breakdown gives us the 23,100. Eastern region, as at that time, couldn't spend the money. Whatever the reason was, uh, later on, it will be explained further. When you come to Upper West, the officer who was supposed to have accounted for the expenditure for the use of that money expired or died. <laughs> the officer died, and the one who took over, according to the response that was received, he hasn't got enough information. He even asked for the bank statement. The, we asked for the bank statement for to see whether the money has actually been redrawn. They couldn't get the explanation. They couldn't get the bank statement from the commercial bank. It is at the back of the response that we have given. He sent us the, the last sheet. The last sheet behind no, the last sheet of this um, document. Yeah, the last two sheets. You see, it's explanation. But he gave us the kind of all check to show that the money was redrawn. But he couldn't have access to the expenditure as to how the money was spent. Is, is that the first? The first um, one, which say two thousand seven hundred sixty. Payment. Yes, yes, yes. 2007 yeah. still was withdrawn. Withdrawn. By, by the one who, who died. Yes, please. But how he spent the money, there's no record to uh, show. Yes, yes. What, what are their other, apart from the government of Ghana and donor funds, what are your other sources of revenue? Because looking at the table on paragraph 2147, you realize that in 2012, Revenue other was 24,394 cities, 20 pesos, and in 2013 it increased by 580.9 percent to 166,090 cities, 76 pesos. What are the other sources of revenue that you, you, you receive? Yeah, thank you. The, the our sources of revenue are basically GOG and donor funds, other sources. So, so I'm referring to par the table in paragraph 2147. There's a 580.9% increase in other revenues between 2012 and 2013. So what are those other sources of revenue? Uh, Mr. Chair, I think the accountant will be able to answer that. Mr. Chairman, actually, I don't have the details with me here. The 2012-2013, the, the increase, I don't have the, what they call the details here with me to know exactly what caused the difference because I don't have the document with me here. No, no, no Chairman, the question I'm asking yes. simply is that as a council, you do you offer services that earn you revenue? No. So then... How come you have other sources of revenue apart from GOG and donor funds? Because we need to know if you offer a service, how do you make it? How do you make that revenue? Is it affected by capping? What do you do with that revenue? Do you retire to the consolidated fund? 
So we need to have an idea because if you, as an accountant, you don't know any other means of earning revenue apart from GOG and donor funds. It's interesting that 166,000 Ghana cities is not small money that we don't know where it just came from. Mr. Chairman, actually the concentration on, was on the, uh, what they call the query that we actually brought us here. So the 2012-2013 issue that we are talking of, I haven't got the details because I myself came there in the middle of 2013, and I have to find out before I can give this house the actual situation on the ground. As I will say something which may not be true. Okay, let me, let me, let me come in here. Mr. Kantan. Apart from the GOG subvention and the donor fund, do you have any other uh, source of money that comes to you now that you are in charge as the accountant? Do you? No. No other money comes to you, apart from the donor fund and then the subvention. So it means that whatever money you have in the 2012 as other, as others, and then in 2013 as well, you you can't tell at the moment the source of that money. Um, I'll now recollect some issues about it. <laughs> what is happening is that there were some other receipts, mm. which uh, I remember some were loans that were taken by staff, mm. which were refunded at that time. Mm. Yeah. I'm concerned. Because, Mr. Accountant, were you given a copy of the management letter when they did the audit since you were there? Were you given a copy? I, 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 I believe we are given a copy. <laughs> the answer is yes or no. Yes. Yes. So, Mr. Accountant, you were given a copy, and you knew you were coming to face public accounts committee. You knew these things were there. And when our colleague asked you, about the other funds. You weren't sure where we're getting it. Look, do you have a copy of this book? I think you need to get a copy because if you look at it, when they are talking about management issues, we attributed this to the dereliction of duty on the part of management. This thing doesn't speak well of you, Mr. Accountant. Uh, the non register of uh, non maintenance of asset register, non depreciation of current assets. It tells me that, Madam um, Boss over there, it tells me you need a very good accountant. That is what it says. If you look at all these things. What would be your advice to Ghanian pop, uh, uh, the, the Ghanian public? Should Ghanians be having more babies or not? <laughs> Mr. Chair, thank you so much. I think our focus should be on quality. I think we should have the number of children we can comfortably take care of. I think we should have standards for who a Ghanaian is. A Ghanaian child, two year old, we have no business defining a Ghanaian child who is two years old. We should have quality human resource. It is only then that, for me, economic development will be achieved. Thank you. So if we have quality, in determining the number of children that we, 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 we produce or we, we have, yet your target of 1.5 growth rates is not achieved, what will be your next line of advice? Mr. Chair, in South Korea, their policy is quality. So if you can have 10 children and there will be quality, that's fine. But then the other issue is, for a woman, talking as a medical officer now, pregnancies above four are risky. Yes, they are risky. Well, there, there, there are exceptions to every rule, but that is it. And bed spacing gives optimal I mean, uh, health to the mother and the child. So spacing, bed spacing is important for optimal growth, and the numbers are important. For me, I'm, I wasn't too surprised that um, we went to Olympics, or we didn't go to Olympics, and we didn't get any medal. Because we have a document that says that 37% of Ghanaians were stunted as children, which means we were malnourished. And if you are malnourished, 
it's very difficult to compete against somebody who is fully knowledge and win any medals against them. So quality, quality, quality should be the way to go. Very, very interesting. Madam, very interesting, very interesting. If pregnancy above four is risk, but you know, our grandparents, uh, mothers, and then mothers, they had 12, 12, 13, 10, 8, but there was no risk at that time. Why now risk? Well, there was risk, but then they, 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 they had the motivation to have so many number of children, because you will also agree with me that even though they had 10 children, you would end up with probably just two of them, because we have these communicable diseases that killed a lot of the children. Now, because of our immunization, because of our relatively good sanitary conditions, because of development in medical care, you would have 10 children and all 10 would leave. Can you imagine your same salary taking care of 10 children and your same salary taking care of two children? Your guess is as good as mine. So quality is well, well, if that policy had come earlier on, some of us wouldn't have been here. <laughs> Well, yes, now the policy is here because we are surviving more. Because we are surviving more, we need to put those measures in place. Why is it that those who give us money from Global Fund have two children, and then we go for money from them, and we have 10? Because they have two, they can afford to save and give us some. Because we have 10, we just spend on food, clothing, schools. That is why we keep constructing more schools and hospitals. <laughs>